Okay, so Randy came on by to crown bees and, and he had all of these uh, different types of bees that come in holes. And his question here was, well, what are these? This is really cool. Okay. So Randy, uh, before we even start, uh, where do you live? I live in uh, the downtown Marysville area. Okay, so kind of an urban environment, not rural or not... Right, urban area, not too far from uh, Jennings Park. Okay, cool. And he wasn't just looking for mason bees, you were looking to see what was there. Yep, I started with mason bees. A friend of mine gave me a small wooden block, been raising mason bees for several years, uh, expanded to the smaller uh, bees to uh, just see. collect an assortment of the summer bees. Okay, so he had um, six, six millimeter tubes, and initially he thought, hey, are these things <clears throat> leaf cutter bees? And so, Demar, see if you can come a little closer. Um, so one of these, this is easy, this is just a leaf cutter bee, went inside its leaf cutter hole, a six millimeter tube, middle size tube, okay, real easy. These things overwinter as uh, larva and are mostly found in the summer, okay, that was easy. So then um, you noticed bees flying later yep. during the summer? Yep, July time frame, the six millimeter holes started filling up a significant number of a uh, different variety of bees in the, in the yard. Okay, and so look at this. He's got things even labeled. These things came out in July, first filled up. And wicked, nice nice yeah. job, Randy. You must work at Boeing? I must, yes. <laughs> you must work at, okay, so as we're looking at these things, it's real bright yellow. In fact, as you, um, as you smell it, it's a real pungent flavor. Um, it reminds me of, there's a bee out here, Coloradensis, that goes to aster type plants, like daisies and stuff. Um, so I thought that's what it was, mm -hmm. and, it, and that which is more of a, a maybe. And he said, "No, it's, no. it's definitely it's... July time." Okay, and August. So yes, I opened one of these things up, thinking maybe a bee was in there. No, it's larva. Okay, so it's clearly an overwintering bee that um, we don't know what it is. And so no. he's gonna. Uh, we'll take. I'll take some pictures and see if we can find out and share. Okay, here's another one. These ones were. You said when did these ones come out? Uh, about the same time, July, August. Uh, these came out of tubes, I think, the early August time frame. So, Demaris, when coming close, this is um, the plug for these guys, this real thin cocoon, okay, and, and there's a plug, it's, it's greeny stuff and kind of um, looks like little rocks in it. That to me is almost a, a parasitic wasp, that I, it's a real cellophane thin cocoon, and then this, the larvae are all in there, so this is a later s summer thing, and so, cool, I don't know what these things are, but it's probably a wasp. You, oh, you mean a predatory wasp. Uh, what did I call it? Parasitic. Parasitic well, they are wasps all wasps. we don't like. Okay. We, yeah. we like predatory wasps. Predatory wasps. Wasp. Okay, yeah. thank you. Better or worse. <laughs> this one went back in here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then what's this one here? So these came out of the same six millimeter tubes. Uh, again, these have a really pitchy. Let's bring it here. These. So kind of like a resin type thing? Yeah, the, the plugs are very resin-like, almost like they came from a, a pine tree. Uh, very small uh, larvae. So uh, still, no idea what they are. still larvae in there as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, way cool. All right, so we're going to be tracking with Randy just to see, um, this is only Washington State, so the kind of question is around you in Wisconsin or Florida or Texas, um, Little bees go in little holes. These are little four meter holes. There's other bees that go into medium sized holes and there are other bees that go into larger holes. What's around you? Thanks Randy. You're very welcome.